Hi, Joan Ramsey here. Um, so some of you might have noticed that I posted a vlog last week and then it vanished. Um, I took it down by request and that's all I'm going to say about that. So this week, um, I know, you know, people are back to school now and in high school and sometimes in middle school, some of you are probably um, finding people to date having crushes, being in relationships, um, you know, that, that kind of thing happens in, in middle school and high school, and sometimes it's a good thing. I mean, I, I saw something on Facebook this past weekend, um, a guy who was in my high school class posted that it had been 30 years since the day he first asked out a girl who is now his wife. Um, so, you know, sometimes the whole, um, high school relationship thing works out really well. Um, but in any relationship, whether you're in middle school or high school or college or an adult, um, sometimes there are things that go on that you don't really like, that you're not comfortable with, but you kind of brush it off. And sometimes brushing it off isn't a good idea. Um, for example, some person on YouTube at one point posted a video in which she told younger girls that if their boyfriend hits them, that means he loves them. Um, no. Uh-uh. Physical violence in a relationship is never okay. It's not a sign of love. It really isn't. Um, having a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever who is constantly jealous of you talking to their other friends or your other friends. Not, not okay. Jealousy does not equal love. Jealousy equals fear and insecurity and sometimes can cause some pretty... Um, unacceptable behavior. Um, having somebody tell you that it's your job to control the behavior of other people in your life so that they don't get upset um, might not be a good thing. It's one thing to say, hey, you know, it really bothers me when somebody says such and such, so could you please just let your friends know not to say that when I'm around? That's That kind of thing is okay. But holding someone responsible for other people's behavior and other people's feelings, um, that, that, that sometimes crosses a line. Um, basically, when you, when you care about somebody or when you love them and you're in a relationship with them, you want things to work. You want to be happy. You want them to be happy. You want to hold on to that relationship. And so sometimes you don't necessarily recognize warning signs that um, that might mean you're in an unhealthy situation. But here's the thing. You know how you feel. If you feel uncomfortable with your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever's behavior, that, that's a sign that it might not be okay. If they're threatening you, if they're physically or emotionally hurting you, it, it's not okay. <laughs> it's okay not to be in a relationship. It's okay to be alone. Because you're probably never actually 100% alone. You've got friends, you've got family members. It's okay to be alone relationship-wise. It's okay to respect yourself enough to say, this isn't okay. If you're afraid to get out of the relationship, then that's a heck of a big warning sign. Um, and that means that maybe you need to get some help from somebody. You need to talk to a friend or an adult that you trust um, and say, you know, here's what's going on. I don't like this, but I'm afraid to call it off. And, and they might be able to help. 
Um, I know this, this is a pretty deep, serious topic, but I've seen too many people involved in relationships that are unhealthy or even flat out abusive. And, and they stay because they think they have to, or they think they can fix their boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, or because they want so much to have somebody who loves them that they just accept the behavior. Um, and I understand that because I, I have been there. But you deserve to be cared about you deserve to be respected and treated well and you deserve to always feel safe when you're around the person you're in a relationship with if you are in a situation or you have a friend who's in a situation where that's not the case where they're being treated poorly where they don't feel safe with with the person they're in a relationship with like I said, reach out to somebody you trust and ask for help. Um, there's a website, loveisrespect.org. I'm going to put that at the end. Um, if you guys watch um, 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom, I think you've probably seen that website show up. Uh, I know it was mentioned several times on, on the original Teen Mom series. Um, they have resources that can help you identify whether a relationship is unhealthy or abusive and they have resources to get help to get out of that type of situation um so you know above all remember that it is not your job to fix other people it is not your job to um to do things that you don't feel safe or comfortable about. It's your job to take care of you and to treat yourself kindly and with respect. So, um, you know, I'm going to post the, the Love is Respect link at the end of the video. If you need it, please write it down. Please visit that website. And just be careful and take care of yourself, please. Um, and I will see you next week.